Oh, yeah, it is. Hard cent, folks. I even see the date 1878. That's a uh, barber quarter in 1901. Uh, does all the uh, maintenance and stuff on the property. It's a beautiful yeah, coin, yeah, man. Can't stop looking at it. Wow. Tell the viewers, did it hurt? It hurt. Okay. Is it a largey? It's, uh, I think this one's a Morgan. Hey, the viewers don't want to hear about the junk. The is junk. it a largey? Junk? Tell the truth. Is it a largey, Al? It might be a largey. I think it's a largey, actually. You get that feeling. You know what? You would shit if it was a largey. Hey, folks. It's Al from PA Cornhounds, and I'm stoked this morning. I'm uh, heading out. It's about 8.30, 9 o'clock in the morning, so I'm going to try to stay out all day until at least my wife gets home from work, which is like 4. So I'm going to hit some spots here, and I'm really excited. I brought the E-Track, and I also brought the AT Pro, just in case, as backup. I don't think I'll need it, but who knows. Uh, I got my backpack, got some water, Got some lunch. I got some uh, lunch and some snacks, and uh, plan on making a trip out of it. All right. Hopefully, I can find something good and uh, get back to you. All right. I'll see you on the first one. Okay. I am here. I'm trying to get a hold of Mike. Let's see if he's going to come out as well today. We are at a place we call Farmer Rick's. I am at a place we call Farmer Rick's. I should say. And uh, it's a pretty, pretty big piece of property. Uh, it's where we found a uh, silver quarter, silver dime, some other good relics, uh, St. Jude's uh, necklace and uh, emblem, or charm, I should say. And uh, amongst some wheat pennies and Indian head scents. I'm gonna start out all the way in the back with the E-Track and see how I make out today. It's a beautiful day. Uh, definitely a beautiful day out for a metal detector. So I might start out back here, or I might go to the back plot of the farm, which is a little bit of a, a little bit of a hike here, and work my way back. I found my silver dime up front. But the silver quarter I found over here. So I might, I might start here in this corner. I'll work my way over. Okay, I'll catch you on the catch you on the first dig, I hope. Alrighty. I got 11.36. 11.37. Oh, might have just knocked it out of the hole. Yeah, it did actually. Something small. So hopefully starting out with something good. I just went outside the uh, in the wood line here and I, I found a bottle dump here with some trash, some old metals, things of that nature. And uh, it looked kind of interesting so I figured I'd give it a go back here. I don't know where that went. Yeah. Must be very small. Yes, it is. It's probably a, a bullet or... Actually, I think I felt it. Yeah, it looks like a... It's like a bullet. Yeah, it's definitely a bullet. That's cool. Nice size round there. You can see that, folks. I think that's what that is. Yeah. All right, all right. I'll catch you on the next hole here. Might be a good one. I got a 1240 here, and it's pretty solid. 
about five inches or so down. So I'm gonna have a go at it here. Dig this up. I'm on two tone first, so like everybody was talking about. And I got a pretty good signal, I think, this time. 1240, 1241. Well, that sounds like I believe a, a dime, but could be wrong. Some fresh soil here. Uh, give it a go. I don't think it's in the plug. Let me double check the hole. Not saying 14, 13, 38. I don't know. Oh, it might be in the hole. 14, 41. Oh, it's in the plug, I should say. Hmm, okay. Well, let's check it out. Let's put on the gloves. A little muddy. Hopefully, hopefully it's something good. Ah. I hope that's not it. No, it's a stick. Heard something. <laughs> I'm not getting anything. Oh wait a minute. Oh boy. Maybe it fell out. It's a possibility. Uh, huh. Let's see what we got here. Hmm. What is this? sure it's a piece of metal of some sort like a knob it looks like a piece of knob or something hmm I'm not really sure get my phone out take a picture of it Let's see what it is <clears throat> it's old Okay, I'll keep checking the hole and I'll get back to you on the next one. thing is very accurate. Picked up that little piece of brass, man. It's a shell from like a small round. It's crazy. I dug, 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 and I was hearing iron, but uh, I was hearing a clunk. And uh, I thought it was a coin. It brought up, it picked up that brass. I'll be damned. All right, well, that had me going for a few minutes. All right, hopefully I can catch you on the next one here. That's a weird, that rang up really close to a, a coin, like a 1743. Look at that. It's a pen. Stop the loss. Okay. That's interesting. That's not that old either. Probably fell out of a farmer pocket or something or something like that. All right, well, catch you on the next one. Yeah, that's definitely a slug that made impact. For sure. All right, I picked that one up really nice. Hmm, all right. Get a little bit better. Not picking up as much of the scrap iron. So, learning to listen to the tones a little bit. Again, I'm trying to use two-tone. First, so a learning curve for me. Give it another go here. The grass is already getting high, man. You know, it's hard to judge for me. I, I don't know if 22, 43, I don't know if that's diggable or 27, 38. I have the uh, Andy S uh, coin shooter program on. I have it on manual sensitivity.
and uh, trying it that way, see what I can do here. Now that to me sounds pretty cool. Sounds like a couple things here. I'm gonna dig this. small and it's about six inches eight inches so I'll give it a go all right I'll catch you on the on the plug here hey I kind of thought that's what it was reading out as it's an old flip top from a can uh, starting to get to know the machine a little bit if you can see that but yep all right well I had to dig it. It's notorious. Notorious for picking those suckers up. Alright, I'll catch you on the next one. Bolts now. This is a live round. An old live round. That's in bad shape. <laughs> yeah, I don't want to play around with that too much. Uh, it's probably no good, but still. It's like a nine millimeter or something maybe I don't know I think that's what that is or a chunk of one hmm okay I get back to you on the next hole well that's pretty cool it's like an old uh, spike or something that was odd that rang up really weird I felt for sure that was a coin hmm all right huh I guess it's a way to f the uh, metal is breaking down. Huh. All right. I'll get back to you on the next one. All right. So, still out here at this farm. It's been about an hour and a half. I haven't really found too much. Pretty quiet. I'm uh, way in the back here, as you can see. The road's way out there, and I am near the wood line. Found some bottles and stuff and uh, a couple of other things, but whew. got this backpack on my back. It's uh, heavy. I had to take off my sweat jacket. It's getting warm out. It's like 60 some degrees now. So I'm uh, going to keep looking around and uh, haven't found anything real interesting yet. I'm going to look around a little bit more and I got another property I'm going to go check out. It used to be an old house. And uh, it's where Mike almost fell in the well. <laughs> so I'm going to go check that out and uh, see how they fare out there. All right. I'll get back to you if I find something. I think I found my first, first coin. Yeah. Oh, wow. I can't believe it. Uh, it's a Lincoln. That rang up. That rang up pretty good too. It's not ringing up now. Oh, why is that not ringing up? What is going on here? I got this on coin program too, and here it goes. Huh. That's something else. I think there's like two things in this hole. Oh, I got it on duh because I got it on pinpoint. Oh my god. Yeah, it's coming up. 1549. Huh. That's strange. I guess maybe because of the dirt? I don't know. I can't make out what it is though. Looks like almost like a steel penny. Can't make out the year. Is it a wheat penny? Yes, it's a wheat penny. Awesome. Wow, found my first coin with my e-track. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely a wheat penny. Sweet. I'll put that one. Get a picture of this one here. 
Nice. Still don't know what year off the top off the top here. Looks like 1940 something. Hard to see with the sun glare. Alright, I don't know. It's, uh, well at least I found something before I was heading out. I was actually heading over to my vehicle and uh just doing one more sweep. So awesome. All right, get back to you. I'm going to head out of here and uh, head over to the other property, see what I can find. All right, get back to you soon. First signal in the hole. Awesome, man. I'm at this old house site that's, well, obviously no longer here, right at the corner here of a farm property. Big old trees. Anyway, first signal. This metal detector went crazy. And uh, mason jar lid. I might have broke it when I was digging, but I'm gonna look for the rest of it. Hopefully, maybe there's a, a container full of coins. That would be awesome, coin hoarder. <laughs> uh, yeah, that would be great. There is something else down here, though. So I'm hoping maybe it was buried treasure. <laughs> I could be so lucky. Metal detector's going crazy right now. I'm using the coin shooter, shooter program with Ferris uh, two tone. 1934. Hmm, not sure. Could be another piece of the mason jar lid. Pretty deep. All right, let me dig this up and I'll, I'll get back to you on this one. All right, your mason jar lid with the little piece of metal inside. It's pretty worn out. I just dug it out of the side here. I keep getting tones. I keep getting pieces of uh, pieces of the mason jar. No way. That's awesome. I like finding these. These are fun. And I'm still getting, I'm still getting tones. I think these are just, yeah, these are just pieces. These are just pieces of the, uh, of the wood, I think. I gotta keep looking though, because, yeah, I'm getting all kinds of crazy tones here. I'm gonna go over it again with my detector. I'll get back to you. I'm on the same first hole here for it. That's pretty cool. A couple mason jar lids. <laughs> Interesting. On the first hole, that was better than, well, besides a wheat penny, it's uh, better than what I found the whole time I was at the other location. Well, this is a house location, so this might be a little bit, a little bit better than the other location anyway. The other one was uh, just a farmland. So, all right, I'll get back to you in the next hole. Anyway, a second second hole and I just found myself a coin it's a it's a Lincoln let's see if it's a wheat penny it's got to be a wheat at least right I think it's a wheat yeah, that rang up nice too Can't make it out. It's definitely a Lincoln. Can't see the year. Let's see here. Oh, I take that and turn that off here. 1952. So it's definitely a wheat, right? Yep, it's one cent. I see it on the back now. Yep. Okay. Let me get out some hound juice. <laughs> Clean it off here. There you go. It's actually, it looks like it's 1930 or 1957. Yep, it's a wheat. Nice, nice. Second wheat today, and this is a house location. This is like second hole. <laughs> That's awesome. 
All right, I'm gonna go on to the next hole. See you on the next one. Man, I so thought that was a large scent. And then the dirt came off of it, and it's a, like a little ring or something here. I'm not really sure. It's old. It's definitely a relic. <laughs> so, yeah, interesting. Put that in my pocket, too. That's pretty, pretty cool. Yeah, still looking. St same. It's uh, right next to the yellow hole. I'm still getting, still getting signals out of here. <laughs> All right, I'll get back to you if I find something else. <clears throat> if this ain't a coin, I'll be surprised. Well, I just had a 1243, 11.37. 14.45. Some deer back there just crossing, looking at me. <laughs> There's actually two signals here. I think it's, yep, 11.44. Hmm, nice. Okay, clear this out of here. Try to do a live dig. Well, there's a can there, so that's causing that. That was my lower signal. I got that little clunk though, like iron. Let me see what that can comes up as. 2409. So, 12:42, 11:39. It almost seems like something's here, but well, let me dig it up and I'll uh, get back to you if I find something. Dig that because. It's coming up like iron, like the edge of iron. It's making clonking noise. Not worth the dig. So I'm gonna venture out here into the uh, field a little bit and see see what I can find here. All right, I'll get back to you if I find some. Oh, this area is uh, proven to be a dumping ground for bottled glass and some old, some new old ketchup bottles from like the 80s 70s uh, some milk glass that was really nice at one time but it's broke yeah some nice pieces that were yeah well it used to be nice it's a shame nice milk glass and uh, not anymore I would take that one if that was in one piece that's a uh, big dumpy ground here Lots of bottles. I'm just looking around to see if I can find something decent. It doesn't look like there's anything worthwhile in here, I guess. For some shoes. If anybody needs any shoes. Mm, it's kind of a fancy older bottle, probably from the 80s. Stuff's been back here for a while. This old loading dock here from a uh, old building that was here before. This old concrete slab here. Bunch of shoes, kids' shoes. Hmm. Yeah, interesting. Okay. Well, I'm gonna keep searching. Gonna jump around a little bit and see what I can find. This is across the street from that other property I was just at. Um, literally right right here. So just looking around a little bit. It's kind of exploring. It's a beautiful day out, so. Alright, I'm gonna continue the adventure here. I'll get back to you if I find anything good. Are you recording?
Are you recording? Dude, my, what happened here? My shit like uh, pulled apart. <laughs> 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 